What do you do? How do you get up there? Are you queen of the castle? <laughs> Silly. Oh, it is Wednesday. I was just getting ready to film a holiday gift guide and then um, I filmed it and I didn't like it. I was gonna refilm it, but it's too dark out because where I wanna film it is just in my other room and I need natural lighting, so I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'll upload it tomorrow and then I'll upload another one on Friday. I wanna do like four of them. Um, but what I wanted to talk about today, cause I really have just been like cleaning my house and stuff today. It's been kind of a, you know, not really a vlog worthy day. And I wanted to talk about this regardless. Um, was the book, last book that I read. Um, I've been reading a lot more on my Kindle just in the past year than I ever really did before. And so I, I figure, I know a lot of people like to read and it can be difficult sometimes to find books that you like. You know, you want to do it based off recommendations and blah, blah, blah. So I wanted to talk about the last book that I just finished, um, which is called The Edge of Never. And it is about a girl that kind of gets sick of where she's at in life and decides fuck it basically and <laughs> goes on a, a road trip um, or takes a bus just basically to anywhere um, she has no real purpose or no no real purpose of the road trip there's nowhere that she has an idea of going until she meets this kid Andrew in Kentucky at one of the bus stops and they through twists and turns end up going on a road trip themselves and really finding each other and finding themselves and um, learning what you know they really want in life I guess and um, <laughs> so I started reading because one of uh, my tumblr followers recommended it to me and then it had really good reviews on Amazon it had about 450 reviews and like close to 400 of those were five star which you know you're like whoa okay well then there we go it's gotta be a good book so I started reading it um, like around Thanksgiving and I was reading um, just like a, a few chapters a night. I was reading it before bed. I wasn't like, you know, that into it yet. So I remember like the first week, probably less than a week, um, it was like Kindle users. So the first 10% of the book, um, I just remember being like, oh my God, I wrote better stories than this when I was in high school just for fun. This is awful. Why does this have five stars? Oh my gosh, it's so slow. So beginning of the book is not great, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, but I was like, you know what, it has five stars. Maybe it'll pick up. So the beginning of the book, this girl goes to a club with her friend and her, her friend's boyfriend and stuff happens and she ends up realizing, you know, I need to get out of here. So eventually she just out of nowhere is like, I'm leaving. So she goes to a bus stop, decides, I'm gonna go to Idaho because the lady behind the counter is eating a baked potato and potatoes are from Idaho. So she goes, uh, and that's where it really starts to pick up. It's a little slow on the bus, you know, until she meets this kid. Once she meets this kid, the writing, which had been in first person, um, now is going between the girl, Cameron, who is the main character, and Andrew, the boy. So you're getting two points of view here. The first time I read a book like that, it kind of threw me and I wasn't sure I liked it, but now I really do, just because I feel like you're really meeting and understanding both characters and both sides to a story a lot better. So once he comes into the picture, the, the book does like a 180 and it becomes really interesting and really hard to put down. So he is heading to Wyoming to meet, um, cause his dad is in the hospital, uh, dying of cancer and they're pretty, you know, it's pretty inevitable. Like it, it's not curable and he's like on his deathbed essentially. Um, and she goes with him and they go on a road trip after and the, and, um, the book really takes like a 90 degree turn about six times. It, it's, I was thinking about it and I was like this, book being about a road trip and being on the road is actually really appropriate for the plot because the story does exactly that. It starts off and you're like, oh my god, this is the most boring thing ever and then turns and it's fun and then stuff happens and you're just like, where did that come from? So the book, it really goes all the way around, but it definitely, it, it had um, a good message to it, I think. Um, not saying it's like one of those like, oh my gosh, my life's changed books, like Fault in Our Stars. It's not like that at all. Um, but it, it was really good. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, the only thing I, I didn't like, there were two things. One, the ending was really quick. Um, 
I feel like they dragged out a lot of like fun adventure story uh, storylines that were cool to read, but I feel like the book should have extended maybe you know, 10 more percent or whatever, um, just with the ending because, you know, you're getting basically a six-week road trip or almost six-week road trip is the entire book and then the ending is something they describe one day and then they do a prologue and I really feel like that could have been um, stretched out a little bit longer. And if the author didn't want to make the book any longer, um, they could have cut out whatever little story that wasn't super relevant to the plot. Um, the, the second thing is that they use babe and baby a lot. Like the first time you notice the, the guy calls her babe, you know, they're not dating or anything. And so you kind of are like, oh my gosh, like, because you think about if it was you. So that's fine. But then it gets to be like every other line, like, oh, baby this, baby that, babe, babe. And it just, to, to me, it was like, it was like in Twilight when... Stephanie Meyer uses chagrin like every other word and you just start noticing it and you're just like <laughs> that's what that was to me but besides those two things the book was definitely good definitely worth a read if you like you know um young adult new adult books um if I was to say it's like any other books what may, it made me think of um a little bit of walk to remember not it wasn't nearly as like pure I guess is the right word um it just it had some parts that reminded me of walk to remember like you know they changed me and da, da, da. and then like a dash like that much of 50 shades not like it's well known fact i really don't like the 50 shades of gray books i think they're horribly written but like you know like how when you make like a soup add a dash of salt it's like that like just a tiny bit <laughs> Um, and then it's just, it's like a lot of other books that I've read, but that's probably why I liked it. So I would recommend it. Um, I enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, so now I'm like, I'm, I'm having book hangover from it though. <laughs> I like, I, I really connected with the characters. I really enjoyed reading it and I really enjoyed learning about them. And like I said, the ending kind of was quick. So it was sort of like, what? Like, I, I remember I was towards the end and it was getting to, um, I guess the climax of the book and it was like 94% finished and I'm like wait a minute wait a minute wait what so um it ended pretty quick I think and um which annoyed me but whatever I would recommend it though I, I did enjoy it but now I'm like I need something else to read like I'm I'm in one of those like I need I need something to take their place there's a hole in my heart <laughs> and that's about it this is uh how long is this oh my god this is seven minutes eight minutes now ah, I gotta I edit it maybe okay that's all for today's vlog it wasn't even a vlog check out my cool pants though they're shiny. Okay, bye.